they would even advertise that. Yeah. Thing. Okay, hey YouTube. In this video, we're going to be opening up the third box out of four. So, so far in the last two, everything, all the like triple R, not triple R, the double R's have all been like defensive type of cards. The one exception being the Gear Chron Gergeritz, um Critical Trigger, which is arguably still sort of like a defensive type of card. Um, and then. I have pulled, up till now, two Grand Volvers, so Cosmic Hero, and two Gavrils, that's really good, uh, so I can actually use this now, and one Bind Time Dragon, um, but I don't have any Chrono Fangs, so it's probably not going to ever go anywhere, um, and or I guess I could try running this with, uh, that's probably not a good idea, uh, and then we have the Overlord's GR. This guy, Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon, Defeat Flare Dragon. So that's this is what I pulled so far. Um, going into that was just the first two boxes. Now we're gonna be opening up box three. So I forgot to ask last time. So leave a comment. Let me know what which out of the clans that got support. So we've got obviously we have Gold Paladin. Then we have Dimension Police, Dark Irregular, Angel Feather, Gear Chronicle, and Kagro. Out of those six clans that got cards in this set, uh, oh, there it is. For a second, I thought I didn't get this thing, and then I was like, "Where's the promo?" But yeah, it's in here. Uh, let me know in the comments, like what, which clan uh, you guys are most interested in. Um, since I, I would assume that some people are going to leave a comment on Angel Feather because they kind of rose to fame recently because of that stand trigger and the no seal combos. But yeah, let me know uh, if you're interested in the Dark Irregular or any of those other ones that are uh, not as popular uh, in in meta. So we've got Medical Barners and Tick Away Dragon. So Gear Chronicle and Angel Feather for the promos. So let's see if again. Just like last time, the first pack has a triple R. Oh, it has a double R. I didn't even know this card existed. So it's the it's Gavril's critical trigger. So I guess Gergrit and Gavril got theirs in this set. I'm surprised they didn't they didn't make stuff like this for uh, Vampire, unless they did. But I just forgot about it. So I'm starting with the left side of the box. Last time, the last two videos I've opened the right side, and the right side always had all the triple R's. So we're gonna start with the left side this time. Oh, one-eyed succubus. So okay, I was completely wrong. Apparently, I don't know what I'm talking about. And Scarrot Vampire got their critical trigger also. So there we go. Watch well, we pulled a Gurgurit one in this box too, and it's kind of. Oh, here's something different. So this box is already going to be different. It started off with double R's instead of triple R's. So we've got Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon Dragonic Blade Master Titan. Um, uh, the nice thing about him is that he doesn't have to flip up a Titan, but he does have to do stuff. He only can do stuff based off of the number of face-up copies of him. So it's kind of like those uh, recent Fighters Collection type cards that have come out. <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see how good he is, but I don't know. I, I, I prefer the Overlord stuff. Another one of this guy. Up here. Another Dorings is third one, that's good. Yeah, so typically you're gonna get a place out of all the rares with these boxes. With four boxes, you're gonna get a playset. Uh, so that's why I feel like four four boxes is the way to go unless you really, really just don't really care about cost or you're planning on just selling like all the duplicates once you go over four copies. Feels kind of heavy. 
Ooh, French horn. And a retractor again. Why is the French horn and the retractor always in the same? I think I noticed that last time. Third nurse of Smash Heart. Another Malik. Let's go to any four of these two, probably. We'll see. Another Wonder Ezel. Grade two. I keep thinking it's a starter for some reason. There he is, third Jeffrey, superstar gold paladins, and that's half of the box. Yeah, so like I said, it seems like the right side of the box in these, you know, at least in the ones that I have, seem like they have all the, dope, the triple R's. You know what? This in Blade Wing might actually work because they have the stride Tybalt, which fixes them from ducking out so this might actually work like four I'm saying like four copies of this maybe two copies of this would be a little bit safer because I, I feel like four Quinta wall back in the, that's way way too YOLO like I don't think you can consider a deck with four Quinta wall competitive at all even with Tybalt What did I pull? Oh, that guy. Oh, see, there we go. Scarface Lion. Now I've got, uh, so far we pulled critical triggers in this box. Like just straight up critical triggers the whole time. Now, now watch me pull a bunch of perfect guards. <laughs> I pulled another Irene. Oh boy. Here we go. We're gonna pull. We're gonna pull another Kagura one. <laughs> oh, oh Dark Regulars. Spherical Lord Dragon. Dongle. Nigman Squall. Oh, and a... That's oh, a G-Guardian. Super Cosmic Hero. So, Cosmic Hero G-Guardian again. So, that leaves one more double R. And then we've got two more of Triple R or G -O, one GR. Oh, Triple R. Speaking of Triple R, we get Knight of Springs Light, Pelimo. Uh, he's got Unite, he's Rear Guard, and he's a Triple R. So, he's, he's a Grade 2, just like with Cosmic Heroes, who had their Triple R with Burst. Gold Paladin gets a Triple R with Unite. Enigma, Stride. Ooh, Chrono Fang Tiger. Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Chrono Fang Tiger. I think he's just kind of like a Blaster Dark Diablo for the, the Gear Chronicle clan in the sense that his GB2 Stride skill is just... It's the same thing... Let's see, just place on V. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like Blaster Dark Diablo, but it has that additional 
uh, effect that it binds the cards, but yeah, mm, I don't know. I think Chrono Jet Dragon's better just because he uh, he does stuff to the opponent's field and he has a Silent Tom style effect or a Glory Maelstrom effect. Grand Drifter. So as we can see, we're getting near the end here. So, Kyro. And a Flame Wing Steel Beast Denial Griffin. So, G Guardian for Kagro. So, yeah, lots of, uh, well, no perfect guards in this box. Instead, it was filled with critical triggers, which are probably worth less than the perfect guards. But these are the type of cards that, if you don't get them now while they're cheap, because they just released, these are the type of cards that I'd recommend getting now, rather than waiting for later, because as they, it depends on the, the clan, of course, but over time, like, for, I'll give you best example, Heart Thump Worker and Gear Chronicle, all that, that one's kind of a bit exaggerated example, uh, but uh, even, like, the the Blade Master one that came out last year in set four, uh, and, you know, like, Claret Swords, Critical, those things become rare over time, so I think they hold their value pretty well. Compared to those perfect guards that are, like, these are kind of, uh, you know, like, the rescue one. Uh, it's questionable whether people will actually use that, so, yeah. And the last one should just have a rare, and it is Grand Mantle. So anyway, guys... As you can see here, this box was loaded with critical triggers and G Guardians. So the only non-defensive stuff was the Triple R's. So we got Pelinor, Titan, and Chrono Fang. So that was box three. We've got one more left. Stay tuned for that in the next video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.